Okay, hi, welcome to your 19th scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, it's going to be the last tutorial that I'm going to be doing on loops. Okay, so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next tutorial. Probably be like a secret or something fun. I'll try and make it something fun. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's start with the loop stuff then. Yeah, right, so. In the previous two tutorials, I've been talking to you about loops, so you know what the while loop, the repeat loop, and the for loop do now. And you know how to use them, you know what they are, and you know everything about them. So, let's go ahead and make one. Uh, well, let me just make a variable first. Uh, okay. Well, pod is equal to 5, do. Okay. Right. So... Actually no, let me do well pod is greater than no well pod is less than fifty. Good. And let's increment it plus one. Right, so pod equals plus plus one and then we want to print pod and what it should do is it should uh, start counting from five and it should print from five to forty nine it would print 50 if I put the equal sign here, like this. But we're going to count to 49, because I like 49. So, if we go ahead and do that, and press play, it's not doing anything. Oh, yes, it has. Here we go. It's count uh, 6 from 6 to 50. What? Oh, yeah, I know. Um, the reason is because we said um, we've added 1 to pod first, and then we printed it. So pod equals 5, then we've added 1 to it to make it 6, then we printed 6 and then when it got to 49, it prints 49 then it goes back and says it is less than 50 so we're going to add 1 to it again, make it 50, print 50 now it's equal to 50, so we're going to skip the loop ok, now I understand it right, what about if I stick an if statement in here and say if pod is equal to 30 then we want we, we want to actually stop counting at 30. Now this is a pretty pointless loop, why don't I just make this equal to 30? But because I want to show you how to use the break in a loop, I want to show you how to break a loop. So when pod is equal to 30, we want to break the loop, we don't want to loop anymore. So let's go ahead and type the word break. Now this is how the word break works, you can only use the word break when you're inside a loop so you can't go ahead and stick the word break here, no you can't do that, that won't work that will do nothing so even in an if statement or a function you can't just stick the word break like I mean you know in functions you've got the word return it's just the same thing with loops but it's the word break so what we're going to do is we're going to break out of this loop oh yeah also the thing with returns with a loop we're not actually returning a value but with functions you are returning a value with loops all we're going to do is we're just going to break out of the loop that's all we're doing we don't want to run this loop anymore we're just going to break out of it and skip to line number 13 so that's all we're doing okay so it's going to print it's going to print from 6 to 30 it's going to print 30 and then it's going to say if pod equals 30 then break okay pod is equal to 30 now so let's go ahead and break out of this loop even though pod is still less than 50 we're just going to break, we're going to force break the loop. So we're just going to skip to line number 13 and carry on with the code. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. It should print from 6 to 30 and then it should break. Yep, you see, it prints 30 and then it breaks. It doesn't print anything higher than that. So that's how break works. You can use it in uh, repeat, repeat until pod is bigger than 50. Okay, so let's increment pod has it crashed? no it hasn't pod equals pod plus one print pod and then we're going to say if pod equals 30 then uh, actually no let's make it 35 this time if pod equals 30 then break so same thing in a repeat loop you just say okay we're going to repeat until pod is bigger than 50 well pod is never going to get to 50 unfortunately because we're going to break the loop at 35 so let's go ahead and press play and it gets to 35 then it breaks and I'm just going to show you how to use it in a for loop and then that will be the end of the tutorial it's a pretty short tutorial but hey. so for i equals 1 to 50 do um, I actually want to count up in let's start from zero. I want to count up in twos just 
for fun. Um, print i. There's no need to do like an increment like i equals i plus one because it does that automatically when it loops. That's basically what the loop does. It just does this i equals i plus one, but it does it automatically for you uh, inside the for loop. Okay, so print i is going to print zero two four six seven two four six eight ten uh, up to fifty. So let's say if i is equal to uh, 30, actually you know, let's make it 20, then, and uh, break, okay, so when i equals 20, we're going to break, so let's go ahead and press play, it prints from 0 to 20, and it counts up in 2's, and then it breaks at 20, because i is now equal to 20, okay, so that's how to break, that's how you break out of loops, it is very easy, oh, hold on, Okay, I'm back. There's people being noisy downstairs. Anyway, um, so that's how breaks work. You just um, break whenever you want in a loop. You can use an if statement in it if you want, or you can just, you know, take the if statement out and just break like that, but that'd be a pretty pointless loop because you're just going to break like as soon as you print the first i. So as soon as you print 0, you're just going to break. But you mostly use it with if statements, so if something, then break. Okay, so that's what the break does. All it does is it breaks out of the loop. So you're in a loop, you're looping, nicely looping, and then break. Done. We're going to skip to line 7 and go ahead. Okay, so that's all the break does. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else that I wanted to show you. Um, nope, just, just break, yeah. So remember just to see what else you can do with for loops and while loops and repeat loops see when to use them just use them in different circumstances um, change properties of parts change all sorts of properties to get a lot of practice using loops and then once you get a lot of practice using loops um, you can go into the next tutorial and um, just add on to your scripting skill from there okay so I'll see you in the next tutorial then